Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. It's actually the same day as the last one I just filmed. That's why I'm wearing the same shirt. Anyway, so something was going on with PayPal on Monday, and they can't blame that shit on the eclipse. So, um,. So I thought I had it fixed and so to test it, I went and found cheap products over on Amazon. Now, one of these I got for less than $2. Like what? Yeah. You can buy stuff over on Amazon that you wouldn't think is less than $2. Now, I'm not going to beat it into your senses that I'm going on a trip to Texas because why should I? Um, to see my uh, son. So for a dollar and six cents, I got two pens. Oh, Rob always runs out of ink. The uh, Pentel RSVP pens. And I think for that price, that is a good bargain. The other thing I got is over here in this box, right? Um, so let me get that open. I'm trying not to make it so that, kind of make it so you cannot see my address. I didn't block it out this time. I could have, probably should have. Usually when I open a box in front of the cat, he's like right there and Last time I had like a big box, he just like pounced right in. And Rob was laughing. Oh my gosh, I got a hair on my face. Rob was laughing. He was like, What in the world? I'm like, Nah, it's funny. <laughs> it was funny. Because, you no, know, cats, cats are simple creatures. Food, love, and boxes. That's all a cat basically needs. Food, love, and boxes. And, oh what? It's hard to believe that Titten is like seven years old. Our little baby boy. He wasn't brought into this house in like the best way possible. It was to annoy us. <laughs> that backfired. Well, goodness, let's get this out of the box already, people. I am trying my best just to get this sucker open. Well, Packaged well. Okay. So anyway, as you all know, I love to do fiber crafting. We'll just put that over there. And sometimes yarn can be a little expensive. Sometimes. Oh, that's a cute little thing to sit in. And sometimes you can find yarn online. Now, I found some really good yarns over on Timu. And I have found some really good yarns in store, like at Michael's, um, Hobby Lobby, sometimes Walmart, you can find a good one. Um, Joanne, uh, Fabrics and Crafts. Now, this came in that one box, but then it also came like this. It's like, well, is that kind of cute? I would say for something like this, you could probably, you could probably reuse it for something. I don't know what, but something. Um, now this is the Lion Brand yarn, so I am super happy that it came packaged like this. I think I might actually save this yarn for my trip because I'm almost done with that one panel. Now I did ask Carla McKenzie which I'll leave her link. Um, she is an airline attendant, but she also has a YouTube channel. She's really cool. She does reviews. She gets a lot of stuff. She's awesome. 
So anyway, this kind of reminded me of denim and it's like super soft. So I wanted that kind of ombre effect anyway, because it's ombre. <laughs> and sometimes yarn has a smell to it. Some yarn will have like a really harsh smell. But the Lion Brand yarn, Lion Brand yarn, I do like working with their yarn. Um, Lion Pram would also be something that you would have seen Vanna White with a very long time ago. Uh, knitting and crocheting, because she does fiber crafting. I don't watch Wheel of Fortune anymore. Don't, don't ask me why. So it's like, like I said, you guys know that I do a lot of fiber crafting, and I think this would be something that I would take on the plane. Because, like I said, I was talking to Carla McKenzie, and she said, yes, you can bring knitting on the plane. Yes, you can bring crocheting on the plane. And if you're working on a small sewing project, you can bring your hand sewing on the plane. It just has to be TSA friendly. So... I showed her the piece that I've been working on and I'm like, well, can you take this kind of knitting needle on there? And then what size uh, uh, can you take scissors? So she explained to me the whole thing. Thank you, Carla. I do so much appreciate that because this will be the one that goes with me. I'm excited. Like I got this for like, under eight dollars and I'll tell you lion brand in the store is not cheap it is worth the price I know there's a lot of price gouging out there right now but I will tell you online if you can buy this at their website for lion brand yarn which I haven't gone on there yet I might just do that but first what I want to do let's turn on you should turn on I don't know why this was shut off. Maybe the battery died. We'll plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> this is not an Airwick air freshener. <laughs> but I have to say that the project that I want to do with this um I'm, I'm going to end up having to get some more for that knitting project. And that way, because I actually plan on knitting my son that I'm going down to see a blanket for his, I think he has a queen size bed. So before his dad died, don't give condolences. Please don't. The guy was a narcissist. Um, they went out and bought a camper to live in. You know, one that has like the, the bunks. And then it has the main bedroom with the storage under the bed and other storage. And, you know, a nice size bath. You know, because their slumlord just was not was not the best, would not fix the house they were living in. And that just got to the point where they're like, hey, we just can't live like this anymore. We have to have our stuff. You know how it goes? Like if you've ever had a slumlord, trust me, I've had slumlords, Philly slumlord, Oregon slumlords, just some bad people. Oh, come on. I don't want to get up and get my phone. So I have other stuff to do. Now, I... Can I give you a little sneak peek? Got something attached. That's all you get to see of that. Till I finish all my shirts. I'm trying to get this to come up so I can tell you how much I paid for the Lion Brand yarn and the pens because... You might like to know that information. Okay, so we'll go over to the pen. 
I'm telling you, it was inexpensive. If you type in, you're going to be like, you paid what? 96 cents before taxes. Mm-hmm. 96 cents. And is that worth it? If you happen to just need some pens, right? 96 cents? Heck yeah. Got to clear all that. Okay, let's, so let's go back. Then I'll tell you how much I paid for the Lion Brand yarn. I paid $5.97. I thought I paid more than that, but $5.97, my friend. That's awesome. It's amazing. Don't forget that you can always find good bargains on Amazon just by putting in, if you want something that's less than $2, just type in dollar products okay dollar products and it will pull it up for you with a list of things that are under a dollar until after tax but unless of course you live in certain states and then you don't have to worry about that plus both of these were free shipping and i'm not mad at that free shipping but again this brand of ink pen which in store is expensive just for two and i got those for a dollar six you know after tax and everything and then this lion brand yarn i'm gonna say because of that price i paid maybe six dollars and something that's not bad for lion brand yarn Hold on. Let me look up their website. After I like clear my screen, you ever like go to do something on one of your devices and just like everything's like blah. Okay. I'm waiting for it to come up. Just tell me it can't. Lionbrandyarn.com. See if it gives it to me. It's telling me that this is not responding. That's BS right there. Lionbrandyarn.com. See if the website comes up. After I move it over here, it wants to work. If I put it over here on my fabric desk, it don't want to work. Glasses back on. Yes, I've lost a little more weight. Awesome. So let's see what they have. They are having right now buy one, get one 50% off for Lion Brand. Um. <laughs> So if you're into that, you go ahead, you go over to their website. I want to see, I don't want to shop by yarn weight. I want to look at some, you know, right all yarns, just yarns, all yarns. We'll see how much this is on the website. I'm sorry. My face is like so broke out. I can't help that. Right now, I've been under a lot of stress, so waiting for this to come up. Sorry, this video is actually longer than I intended, but I think it's kind of worth looking this up because you may also be able to go get a bargain over on their site. Um, I'm not an affiliate. If I ever became an affiliate, <laughs> I would love that. I would love that. That'd be one long yarn. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can like. Been having that issue lately, anyone? 
other than me. Anyway. Always want you to accept cookies. Are they gluten free? <laughs> Like, look at that. I'm still waiting. This is ridiculous. <sighs> That's not how I turned it. I sat it down. I didn't rotate it. Get to Curse Cosmetics over on Facebook in a minute. <laughs> Gosh, that don't want to come up. So anyway, we'll do that on another day. Looking up the yarns. And because I've had a lot of Lion Brand yarn, it is an excellent yarn to work with. Um, let's say, like I said, if you go into Michael's Crafting, which is basically where I buy a majority of my yarn. Because I really love the array of yarns that they have to choose from. And all the different companies you may not necessarily be able to find in Wally World or um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a different selection of yarn. I do love the Hobby Lobby. Um, Joanne Fabric and Crafting. Um, they also have a different selection of yarn. So always check them out before you buy them. They usually have something on sale. All of those companies always. Hobby Lobby, um, Michael's Crafting, and Joanne Fabric always has a yarn sale going on. So don't forget to check those out. Remember, you can also get them for a good price over on Amazon. So I will leave those listed below. And stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I got to get back to the rest of what I need to do because I'm a little behind. Oh, and I have decided because I'm a little behind, I'm going to use the t-shirts out of this pattern. And I need to make me some pants. So, because it's been hot lately. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.